Today on A Commonly Good MTG, we're playing Mono Red Aggro. Not your daddy's Mono Red Aggro, no, no, no. We're playing Thunder Junction Mono Red Aggro. If that sounds interesting to you, then stay tuned to find out more. Hello and welcome to Uncommonly Good MTG. I'm your host. And remember, I'm here for you. Dr. Yukon Socket. Yes, thank you. Film before a live studio audience. Thank you so much. Yukon Socket. Word to your mama. So I'm broadcasting to you today from my secret underground headquarters, and I'm bringing to you a deck I found over on the Aether Hub, hosted by Tay Malice, that he called Red Keeps Getting Better. Uh, the thing was, I did play it, I did have some problems with it, and I identified that it didn't seem to have enough creatures. So I took out four Ancestral Angers, and I put in four Frantic Scapegoats, and for me, that worked a ton better. So... Um, You'll be able to find my deck list in the description as well as in the uh, link to the to the deck list over on Aetherhub. But within that, it'll point back to Tay Malice, who this deck is every bit his deck other than the fact I swapped out one card for more goats and less creature pump. All right, so saying that out loud, let's talk about the deck a little bit. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the cards in the deck. We're going to talk a little bit how it should work, and then we're going to go out we're going to crush some hopes and dreams. What do we got? All right, so we got Frantic Scapegoat, who is a hasty, essentially menacey 1-1. One, one, and he's got the ability to pass that menace on to other creatures that come out after him. Because some other dudes will be much, do much better with that, with that suspect than he will. Uh, we got this guy, which pumps dudes up. It does a point of damage and also puts out a 2-2 two, two with haste. Great. Uh, this guy comes out. Haste and Prowess, you give him the suspect, sure, he'll probably do much better with it. Pump, Creature Pump, uh, two points of damage to plot target or any, really any target, really, player. Uh, Demonic Ruckus, all totally new. The, you put it as an enchantment on something, it gets plus one, plus one, as Menace and Trample. And if that thing gets killed and it gets this, the enchantment goes to the battle, from to a graveyard from the battlefield, you draw a card. So it's got a little bit of card draw into it. Plus, the big thing is giving your dudes menace and trample. That is fantastic. Um, we've got Fugitive Codebreaker, who's a prowess haste guy for two. Starts off as a two end, so he totally pumps. Lightning Strike does three points of damage. Here's a brand new dude, Flying Haste for two. He's a one, two. And he's got like a weird type of prowess that gives him plus two plus O oh until the end of turn for each non creature spell that is cast. Uh, Godra comes out. If you put him out with two, if two or more things into the battlefield in your turn, then he can become a 4 4 dragon that can pump. And you got the ability to put out two uh, spirit tokens with haste and 19 regular lands. So, this thing, what are we going to do with it? We're going to throw dudes out like crazy, attack, attack, attack as quickly as possible, using our non creature spells essentially at the right time to pump our dudes up to make the best use of their prowess. And we got a lot of dudes with prowess. And then just keep flooring. Hopefully we'll have our opponent dead by turn four. And the game will be over. All right, so this is pretty much just the evolutionary next step in Mono Red Aggro. Let's take it out and do some damage. But before we do, let's do as we do every night. Let's say our prayers and talk about what is best in life. Hands together. Dear Black King Toxrel, who dwells within the dark chambers of my heart, Please hear your prayers and grant your blessings as we attempt to crush our enemies, see them driven before us, and to hear the lamentation of the women. All right, we're playing against G. Gyro. Two mana. We got a first turn thing. Opponent goes first. We'll keep it, though.
All right, we got these guys here. Who are we playing with? Whatever I put out is going to get canceled. Let's put out the code breaker. I don't care about him as much. I want the flying guy with super prowess. Ooh, we managed to land it. All right, cool for you. Here we go. All in. All right, we go. Got one guy. Two. Let's get load of Godric out there. And in for six. All right, Mr. Gyro, I'm coming at you. You got to let it happen. There we go. Uh, let's see, number one. This game's gonna be over as soon as this next rope cuts down. Was he here? Yep, he's back. All right, he's down to six, which means if I could pick up another man, I could just shoot him in the face and finish the game off. Which I did not get what I needed. All right, uh, let's just shoot this guy then. And here we go. You gonna block and gain two life out of the deal? Guess what's in the plot for the future? Everybody gets a pump. And here we come. There we go. There's what Mono Red does to you. Ooh, I can't believe you almost tried to rope me. Victory! All right, we're playing against Jeff. Keep... We got a nice collection of goats. Uh, let's switch your start off with. And then we can start goading it. We play mono red gets mono red. Looks that way. All right, two, one goat. Two goats. No, decline. I like them that way. I like them all squirrely. There you go. Good job. Oh, fine. All right, we're coming down to 12. We got three of them that have evasion, one that has super palm, got prowess. That's a problem. 
All right, I'm just going to go to town. That's all there's left at this point. Oh, what am I going to do? Let's rage and rage. Rage! Rage! No math! Yes! Ooh, that was good. That was good. Alright, we are playing against Black Lotus Eater, the BLE. Like what do I what do I want to do my first turn? Nothing or something. I guess with haste it doesn't really matter, does it? All right, I'm going to about something. It's a goat. Ooh, I should have done that the opposite way. Uh, yeah. He's a suspect. All right, that's what I need. All right, let's get a turn. There we go. Let's go to put this out. We're totally cool. Pump, 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 pump. And three to the face. Oh, yo, Joe. There we go. Down to 10. We don't have any more means of pumping, though. That's a big problem. All right. Uh, everything is a one. Let's give it to the guy who cannot be blocked. I don't care, man. You can gain three life. I don't care who you pick there. Probably etching is your better choice. There you go. All right, we got... What do we got there showing? Five. Two in hand. You, sir, are a jerk. Eyes down to two. Got two more hasty guys in our hands. This is a little couple of rockets. Don't gain life. Don't do it. No life linkers. I said so. Fine, I don't care. Ah, here we go. Goat! And we win! And we win! Victory! Alright, we're playing against Rave. Raywin. We have any creatures? We got three of them. Good. All right. We're good. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it. All right. There we go. And we got everything we need mana wise. Now we just got to get to time to put things out. Creature number one. Yo, Joe, let's go.
All right, we're seeing Azorius play because that's all they want to do. Slow and cold. All right, so here's three. Let's put out the other guy. And go in. All right, we're going to get the Super Pump. We're going to see a bounce here or something. Come on, Raywin. Let's play the game. I don't know what you're thinking about. Your four cards, your four whole stupid cards have not changed at all. Of course, I should have got the Swift Sphere out if I was going to cast him, and I did not do it. All right, go ahead and kill one guy if you like. Feel free. If I was you, I'd probably just suck it up. There you go. He's got a soldier. All right, so we've got three list demonic ruckus. We'll go ahead and play it on our boy right there. Pump, a pump, a pump. Let's go with what we got. All right, so that's nine to the face. You can deal with the Swift Sphere. I think you're going to do something about it. I got I got two in my hand. Sweet God. I love that card so much. Yeah, this is the biggest thing about playing Mono Red is everybody else is like playing at half the speed you are. And it just drives you crazy. Crack, 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 crackity crack. All right, come on. All right, singled up. Uh, we're going to have to do this the weird way, aren't we? Play with fire is a good card. Let's just do it this way. Okay, we'll pump everybody up. Give them a nice little shine. One to the face. All in. All right, choose who you're going to block. You do anything I don't like, I'm just going to shoot somebody. Okay, you're just going to let us roll right over you there. Cool. All right, man, you got choices to make. You got one guy left. 
All right, we're just gonna let it happen. I don't know what you're planning on doing. Drawing a card, huh? All right, that is exactly what I was hoping for. Shot to the face. Suck it! Suck it. Suck it, Azorius Control Man. All right, we're playing against Am Amy Rith. Amy Rith. All right, there we go. Keep. Oh, wait. Okay, we do have two creatures. Good. I always do this. I'm like, I got three mana. Everything's perfectly fine. No problems here. All right, I'm just going to do it. I'm hoping I can get a guy in the next turn, but if it doesn't happen, this is a waste. Goat! Didn't get a guy. All right, we're done. Nothing to go happen. Goat! All right, now it's my turn. One guy, two guys, all in. All right, you're down to 13. I have five in my hand otherwise. And these guys do not pump. Which means I got a total of 10 points of damage I'm dealing next turn. What if I put out, I wonder if I put out the, uh, the double spirits from the land, whether that will uh, count as a double up. Two more non-land permanents into the battlefield under control this turn. There they are. Oh, he can't even block. Oh, was this four, five, six, seven, eight? Nine. All right, it's down to four. Now I just have to survive. From I can see, you can deal six out of my 14. Now you could go crazy, but. Hopefully not. It's a gamble. All right, he's up to nine. And we live. And you're dead. Oh, ho, ho. victory. All right, we were playing against Isama. I, I, Isama. Three mana. We got two guys, but they are so slow to get to. Uh, here's hoping for the best. Just a whole bunch of mana. I'll tell you, I'll put this guy out. We'll plot him up. That reminds me of something we used to do using Call Dime, I think it was. It was, uh, was it Foretold? That's exactly what that is, Foretell. All right, number two. All right, we're not, we're actually quite in line with what we need to do here. It's not so bad. The only problem is to get out Godric and then he like just kills it immediately. That would be bad. He's got the mana for it. Oh, 
Let's go to town. All in. Alright, so if that gets killed, at least I get to draw a card. Next turn we put out another Godric with a Kumano. And we could potentially shoot for two. And all he gets to do is draw a card. From what we can see. Suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it, suck it. He wants to draw his card so badly. Alright, so you flashing your cards. I know you got two treasures. Come on, man. And then he's saying to himself, then if I stick my finger up my butt, this will smell taste so much better. He's got the facilities. You're all out though. All right, here we go. Another dude. Drop it like it's hot and in we go. All right, so you can't block the guy we want. you want to block, but you can jump in front of that guy and take the damage. Get that card while you're at it. I wasn't given the ability to pump. How disappointing. All right, it's down to eight. We've got seven showing. And just a bunch of lands in our hands. It's going, he's looking for something. I almost think that it'd be better if he did kill my Godric right now. All right, jeez, people, come off it. All right, so he's down to three. I can't do anything about it. Oh, well, could I have pumped him? Maybe. That was a huge problem on my part. 100% I could have just won. There we go. Thank you for acknowledging that. Victory! All right, we're playing against... Crab of Hedrons. These are the Crab of Hedrons, everybody. Do you have any creatures? We got one and a half. All right, we'll, we'll play with it. He's got the nice trade off of one, two right there. Hopefully, he's not playing creature kills straight up. That would be bad. Okay. Ooh, we get to go first. That's nice for us. All right, here is Foghorn Leghorn. Super pump. Don't kill him. Just leave him be. No, you looked at him and I don't appreciate that. He's just a guy. You don't want to kill him. Nice. All right, let's uh, ruckus demonically.
And we'll clear the runway a little bit so we can get the etching through. All right, down to eight. Hopefully next turn is all we need. I think that's all we need. Uh, trample doesn't matter anymore. Let's go in. Next to blockers. Block up, baby. All right, this is what Mono Red does best. Don't kill off the show off. I mean, you can't with one man. Oh, you got two, I guess. This is a uh, treasure, isn't it? There it goes. So you got three to face and another five coming. And we win. All right, luckily we had redundancy there. Vic, Vic, victory! All right, so here we are with uh, Mono Red Aggro from the Outlaws of Thunder Junction. And uh, it was good. It was great, like Mono Red should be. Um, you know, it felt slightly different different it, because we had so much like prowess in here it, it just because yeah these slick shot show offs are absolutely perfect for this kind of a deck and uh yeah they they worked really well but because of that we had a lot more prowess you know usually we're playing with just hasty red guys and uh you know they're good for what they do and you get them out there and everything's fine but when you have prowess from like the swift spear and this weird double prowess for power and zero I, who cares about your defense, right? Um, yeah, 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 yeah. That that was fantastic. So it was really all about getting your guys out and letting them pump, letting them pump, going for it. Um, yeah, that was really good. The other one I really liked, I liked Demonic Ruckus. It, was, it had a great feel, which worked good. I liked the fact they gave them both Menace and Trample, meaning they had to block with at least two dudes. So you got a little bit of evasion, plus you got the ability to get your damage through. Because as you're pumping your stuff up, the big thing was the, the chump. That was what I really was the worst about. It was getting like a single little chump in front of you and wasting all that super pump damage on nothing. But Demonic Ruckus really helped out with that. All right, so let's see. Was this deck... Um, let's go to who was the MVP. Who is the most valuable player? I'm going to say it was... I was going to say it's this show off. This is definitely the guy. He's only two to put out. He's got Flying in Haste, which means he's like uh, the... Phoenix chick, whatever, as far as flying in haste is concerned. He comes out as a 1-2, so he's got a big butt. But his ability to grow his power is so great. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why you'd use the plot ability on this. It's the same cost as it costs to put him out. Uh, maybe you just want to like bum rush a bunch of dudes out at the same time or something. I don't know. I don't have a good scenario in which you'd want to use plot for this guy. But he has it. Maybe we'd figure it out someday. We'll just take a look around. The other guy, um, yeah, I was going to say, Frantic Scapegoat was a great addition to this deck because essentially with, uh, you know, you have him being suspected, which means he's got essentially menace, and that is a great way of getting through, and plus you can pass it on to your larger guys. Like, Godric as a suspect is great because it makes it a lot harder for people to block him. And if they do, then he has to put at least two guys in front of him, which means they can't chump as easily. So that was fantastic. All right, but anyways, I'm going to give it the MVP to Slickshot Show Off. Congratulations, new boy. You are the MVP. All right, was this deck competitive? I mean, I took it out on the uh, on the ranked ladder. Big reason for that. When I kept playing it in casual play, I just kept going against mono red all the time. Pretty much the exact same deck. Mirror matching. And I was always going second, and that just sucked. So I figured if I needed to see a little variety, because uh, for some reason the matching agent kept putting, me, putting mono red against mono red, I needed to move over to the, the rank so that uh, I wouldn't have that happen as much. And it was much better over here. Uh, so anyways, yeah, I got 70% uh, win rate, 7-0. And that is a fantastic number. Absolutely. 
So yeah, this deck is super competitive, still is, and is still holding strong. Number two, was this deck fun? Absolutely. From start to finish, this deck was, was great. The only problem I had is that, like I said, it was kind of like being on crack, and everybody else seemed incredibly slow in comparison to me. And so I kind of was like really impatient with people, uh, and I wasn't having as much fun just because people were taking too long. Anytime I was going up against a Zorius or anybody playing blue, man, they just took their ever-loving time, and that was driving me nuts. So but other than that, the deck itself was incredibly fun to play. Lots of great attacks going on, things getting big, you got your tricks from your instants coming out. It was fantastic. All right, was this deck interesting? Um, barely. Barely interesting. Why is that? Because this is Mono Red Aggro. It is just, uh, you know, the next evolutionary step on it. Uh, you put in the good stuff from uh, Thunder Junction in it, and, uh, you know, it, it, it's worth it. It held up. The cards that we put in here are great. So, all together, it was a good mix. It was an interesting seed in the evolutionary step of Mono Red Aggro, and there you go. So, let's add that up. Was this competitive? Double check plus. Was it fun? Absolutely. Was it interesting? Eh, not as much. But still, it was worth playing because of the new cards. So I'm going to give this deck, really, I'm going to give it an A+. It's an A plus deck. If you are looking to win and you like playing aggro, this is an A plus deck and should be played. All right, so there you go. A plus. If you decide to play with this deck, then I am forced by federal law to say this deck is so choice that I'd highly recommend you pick one up should you have the means. That's all for now. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. From all of us here in the underground secret headquarters of Uncommonly Good MTG, have a great day. In the words of my people, be excellent to each other and party on, dudes.